Minister Vaishnav, India isn't a formal alliance partner of the United States and never likely will be. Despite that, these uh, technological transfers that the U.S. seems to be agreeing to, how significant do you view that as being? For example, I mean, it's not really your ministry, but just broadly, the fact that G414 uh, jet engines are being made available to India and, 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 you know, what you deal with, emerging and critical technologies as part of the initiative called ISET, a lot of high-end technology which otherwise wouldn't be made available to India now being made available, and that really helps take the India-America relationship to a different level. Absolutely. Uh, there are two aspects of it. One is, of course, uh, some of the critical technologies which India didn't have. Those technologies are now being made available to the country and we can develop them together. We can manufacture basis that. There is another very important and very crucial point. That point is India and US are today looking at each other as co-creators, co-developers, technological partners of each other. It's not just technology transfer from one country to the other. Take the example of ORAN, Open RAN. In Open RAN in telecom, which is the uh, biggest thing which is happening today, India and US are co-developing Open RAN. See the fundamental difference. Alliance, one looks at as, okay, there is one partner, there is another one, right, which is dependent upon the other partner, which is dependent upon the bigger partner. Here we are looking at two countries which are today technological partners looking at developing technologies together, working on projects which are at cutting edge where what we develop together will be useful for both and useful for the world. That's the fundamental directional shift which has happened. Do you want to spend a moment talking about the kind of uh, personal popularity? I want to show you some of the scenes, Minister. I don't know if you can see, but this is a man in his 10th year in office. And the kind of, uh, you know, smiles he's bringing to people's face, the kind of enthusiasm that we're seeing, it's quite surreal. It almost seems as if it's part of a film set, except that it's not. These are real people. They've come from California, Texas, many from Canada. They've come from all over. And the interesting thing is that a lot of the people who are ordinarily at the White House, like the Americans, they're very amused. You know, they're looking at this because so many world leaders come and they go and uh, nobody generates quite this mass hysteria or cult-like popularity which the Indian Prime Minister does. And I'm quite certain that President Biden would be quite envious. This is his laws after all. This is his house. And the name that's being chanted is not that of the American Prime Minister, but rather that of the Indian, uh, Prime, not that of the American President, but rather that of the Indian Prime Minister, which would make any Neta quite envious, uh, Minister. See, Rahul, leadership comes in various forms. There is the highest level of leadership, which I would say is moral authority. When a leader commands respect, generates that level of trust, which today Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has developed, he generates trust among people. People believe him, people trust him, people are willing to, you have seen during COVID, on his one sentence, people are willing to do a janta curfew without deploying a single policeman. That's the trust people have in him. People know that whatever he is going to do is going to be good for the country. That is the trust which is clearly visible in his moral authority, which is attracting people, making them feel so loyal to him all over the world. Well, we leave it there just for the time being. Thank you very much, Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. You've been through a rough phase, a very challenging phase with that terrible train tragedy in uh, Balasore. But it was quite remarkable how you were out on the ground holding the fort, trying to, you know, rouse the railway officials. And I just hope that all the lessons that the railways and you've learned will lead to the Indian railways becoming much more safe. In any case, most of the uh, numbers of accidents, etc., were showing Thank a declining know. trend. Uh, but to be able to make it as fail-proof as possible. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Really appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.